Hello everybody, how are you? Salsa here from Magina Productions TK. And this video I'll bring you the review of the Pantic P7040 Link Unlocked Phone. So if you missed the unboxing, go ahead and check it out. The link will be in the description, so check it out. Pretty good video. Okay, so now carrying on with the review. This is the Pantech P7040 Link Unlocked. So this is an AT&T phone, but it's unlocked for any carrier, so it's basically a world phone. So if you saw the unboxing video, I'll give you a couple of the specs, really not much. In the back you have a in the back you have a 1.3 1.3 MP camera. It does video and photos. You have a speaker, matte plasticky finish. It doesn't feel as cheap as hand. It doesn't really feel cheap at hand. Here you have the volume rockers. Um you have a micro SD slot. I'm not sure how much can it can it do, but um holding two gigabytes in there. Um the bottom you have pretty much nothing, top nothing, and the other side you have the charging and headphone port that it's one main port, it's kind of micro USB, I'm not really sure how to call it. But yeah, it's standard double ever focus, there we go. Um and uh in here you have the in here you have the camera camera shortcut if you want to access the camera quickly so here you have the full QWERTY keyboard I will do a couple of reviews on right now so first of all let's go ahead and power on the phone to show you how the actual software and everything else looks like so to power it on you just press the end key the end call key Yes, you will be greeted with the screen that says AT&T. Don't worry, that's not how the phone looks like when you get it. So it's pretty good animation. It's not glitchy at all. Okay, so now when it comes to the display, um, it's a pretty okay display. It has a, a pretty good color, but it has some pretty weak viewing angles, if you ask me. So... It's not as good as an iPhone. The viewing angles are pretty weak, and um, when you're outdoors, this thing is really not bright. But you know, it's pretty good for the price of 80 bucks, if you ask me. So, going on to the menu, the menu is pretty um, carrier based. This is the menu that many carriers ship with. You know, standard address book, messaging, IM, mobile email, apps web stuff and all that kinds of stuff when it comes to media the Pantech actually offers quite some things you can add your own memory card and you have the option here and if you and when it comes to music playing this does a pretty okay job so I'm gonna go ahead and play some music I have from my own for my own micro SD So as you saw, the phone just offers a pretty okay music playing. Music playing um, interface is not really the best. It's really simple, simplistic. Um, going back, browsing this phone is pretty simple because it just, just like any QWERTY phone, back key, select key, and um, yeah. So going on to the camera, the Pantic really doesn't offer the greatest camera in the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and um. Press the camera shortcut. Should open the camera. I think I have to go to main screen. There we go, it's now loading. So, as you can see, it's an okay camera. So, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of the ATT logo. Pretty buggy thing, pretty buggy animation. But as you can see, it takes um, takes optimistic pictures. They're not the best pictures in the world, but you know, if you all just want to take a quick snapshot of your in your phone, go ahead and use this one. So when it comes to the video camera mode, um, this is not the best video recorder in the world. I would not use it as a main camera, never. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a test video. 
Hello everybody, it's also from GameProductions.tk and this is being recorded with the Pantech P7040 link. So I'm going to go ahead and record it myself. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop it. Options, play. I'm going to play it for you guys. Hello everybody, it's also from GameProductions.tk and this is being recorded with the Pantech P7040 so as you saw, it was pretty fair video playing. It's not like an iPhone 4S or a DSLR camera or a point and shoot. But you know, it's a mobile phone and uh, it's pretty standard, so it does the job quite well. So mainly that's all the phone has to offer. It's really not a smartphone, it's just a normal phone, but going to the features, when you... Okay, so going to the most important feature you're looking at a phone is... I guess it's call quality. Call quality in this phone, for me, when I heard the person talking, I heard him pretty okay, but... I've gotten reports that they didn't hear me clearly. They heard me, like, cutting and, um... Pretty low. Speaker is pretty decent. Microphone is decent, but... Yeah, quality, call quality, I would give it like a 5 out of 10. And finally, before I end this video, I'm going to show you the messaging app. So is any phone, this is a QWERTY keyboard phone, so it should give you a good messaging software. So you have a uh, conversations, mobile email, create a message, I am app box, drafts, voicemail, settings, templates, use space. So if we go to conversations, here are my old conversations. I haven't really used it that much. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how our message looks like. So as you saw, the message types in pretty clearly. Um, the keys are pretty responsive. But at the same time, they're pretty um pretty bumped up together. So yeah, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and please stay tuned for more. I am leaving in like a couple of days, so I might not upload as much videos as I used to because I am pretty busy. But yeah, guys, I will try my best to keep up. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And comment me if you know of a really cheap unlocked phone that's better than the Pantech. Because um, the Pantech looks really okay for me for what I'm planning to do with it. Okay guys, so thanks for watching and peace.